Good morning, everybody. This is K. Balakrishnan. I am presently dealing with the subject called as advertising and brand management. We are focusing on branding issues. In this present class, we will learn about what do you mean by a brand, what are the advantages of brand, what are the benefits of the brand, what are the functions of the brand, what are the types of the brand, and other details regarding the branding concept. Usually these PPTs are just uh, uh, video classes which are prepared just to focus on gaining up a certain amount of uh, insights to everyone. Today we will be speaking about one of the topic which is called as branding. Now I'll be sharing you the screen so that uh, you can clearly know what the concept of branding is. What is a brand is a bit the biggest question and how does it differentiate from a commodity? Brand has an identity and the commodity does not have an identity. Brand has a name, image, goodwill and other things whereas a commodity doesn't have all those things. What is a brand? Brand may be considered as a name, symbol, logo, design or a trademark who shows the, all these things. A seller or a group of sellers issues all these things. Why do they issue? They issue to create an identity to the goods, to create an identity to the products, to create an identity to the services, to create an identity to the ideas. What is the purpose of using the brands? To increase the profitability, to increase the uh, to increase and go ahead uh, uh, along with the competitors and to face the competition to with the heavy hands. What is the importance of branding? The first and the foremost importance for the branding is it creates some sort of identified image to the product. It creates identification to the product. What sort of identification that provides it gives the product a name, it gives the product a logo, and it gives the product a differential element. Do you think that the branded products must be qualitative? Yes, I think so because if the branded products are not qualitative, then it will result in entire wastage of money on branding of the products. Next, so do you think that brand needs the imitation? Brand may be imitated by others, but a branded product must not imitate others. If a brand product just copies the, uh, copies the uh, path of the others, then it loses its identity and it becomes a commodity. It has a legal right. There is a specific manufacturer who purchases, who produces the brand and this manufacturer is ready, is responsible for failure, success or profitability of the brand. Next, a branded product requires a promotional support. This promotional support is usually provided in the form of advertising, sales promotion, and other aspects. If a, if a branded product is present, it creates an identity for itself. Uh, as it creates an identity, what happens is customer gets satisfied. If the quality of the brand is more, customer is satisfied, the same customer comes and purchases the product again and again, then he will be called as a loyal customer and the property is called as brand loyal. Yeah, there is also one factor which is called as price differentiation. Price differentiation in the sense branded products are little costly when compared to the commodities because certain amount of money is invested on the product and thus the branded products appear to be more costly when compared to the other products. And it is also said that brand creates the identity for all the products. It gives a unique name to all these products. What are called as brand attributes? whatever is promised by the brand 
can be termed as the innate quality possessed by the brand. First one is it must be relevant. What sort of relevancy must be present? It must be relevant in the sense it must match to the expectations of the consumer. Any brand will be successful only when it matches with the expectations of the consumer. The consistency. Initially, when the brand is launched in the market, it, uh, it performs to a certain extent. And that performance must be sustained for a long period of time and it must win the trust of the customers. Next one is brand must be properly positioned. For example, take the case of Kellogg's. It uh, failed bitterly in the, uh, in the past for positioning itself as a breakfast item. But now it is positioned as diet control breakfast item. So it was successful. Sustainable. Sustainable in a sense, any brand can be sustainable when it stands the competition and runs a long run. Maruti 800 has ruled over the market for a long period of time and brand um, ambassador cars have also ruled uh, for a long period of time, just as what Nano is doing nowadays. It's credibility. Every brand must generate some sort, some sort of uh, credibility in the sense, some sort of worthiness, some sort of image, some sort of identification. Inspirational. Um, the best example for inspirational is the brand ambassadors to promote the brand. Uniqueness, every brand has a unique quality to be focused. For example, Fog focuses on everlasting fragrance. It also focuses on innate quality like a liquid spray. Appealing, every brand has a specific appeal. Some brands ask, ask to purchase them based upon the benefit they render. Some are purchased for their price, some are purchased for their quality, some are purchased for their resale value, and many other things. What are the benefits of a brand? The major benefit of a brand is its differentiation. When compared to the rest of the brands, you can clearly say that BMW is differentiator on the base of value proposition and uh, Tata is uh, differentiated on the base of price. Market segmentation. What do you mean by a segment? A segment is a small portion of market with a homogeneous needs. For example, the brands like uh, Tata Nano focuses on a middle class segment, which is the largest segment in India nowadays. Promotion and advertising. Another aspect in branding is a brand must require a support of brand ambassadors. It requires a support of advertising. It requires a support of sales promotion and other aspects. The purpose of using a brand name is to create a wide network to increase the marketability of the product. Next, customer loyalty. If a, if a brand is purchased for a long period of time, then the customer is called as a loyal customer and the phenomena is called as customer loyalty. Usually reward points or point rating systems you adopted to increase the customer loyalty by large number of people. Next, protection against imitation. Trademarks are used. Next, logos are used. Next, slogans are used in order to differentiate the product from others. Control over the prices. Control over the prices in the sense brand branding allows the manufacturer to increase or to sell the product at a higher price than a commodity. But that cost of differentiation must not be too high. If it is too high, it will be removed out of the market. 
a brand quality must be maintained and adulteration means uh, deterioration in quality must be reduced next one is a brand creates a identity to the product for example harley davidson sold at 20 lakh rupees it indicates that it has got its identity in terms of its brand value ensures quality quality means standardization of the product raymond is purchased for a rupee more because it has a, a certain amount of quality it's easier shopping since the information regarding all the brands will be available through the television and other media to the customer so to show the shopping of these goods will be easier and it run and it was a bit where it is easy for the customer to maintain its choice psychological satisfaction i cannot get a psychological satisfaction to use an assembled computer but if i i can get a psychological satisfaction if i use a more a branded computer like dell or others next status symbol bmws harley davidson bench cars etc indicates that they have certain amount of status uniform price wherever the product is sold it is sold wherever the brand is sold is it sold in rural areas is it sold in urban is it sold in metros it charge a same price one price for one market it must be the slogan there packaging usually the branded products will have a colorful packages and they demand certain amount of appreciation for having so what are the types of brands in this class we are speaking about only two types of brands one is manufacturers brands second one is retailers own label manufacturer brands are the brand, producer brands which uh, which are having good advertising under the support retailer own labels are prepared by the retailer themselves they are stocked in the godowns of the retailer they do not have any distribution cost they do not have any other cost or expenditure they are sold with a name they are sold by the retailer's own name sometimes and this uh, brands will create a huge profit when compared to the normal brands what are the functions of branding the main function of branding is to create a uniqueness among the mind um, in the minds of the customers hero honda is having a distinct image it is having a spare part durability and high resale value its publicity usually a branded product will carry a positive word of mouth and this requires a huge amount of support from the advertisers and to publicize what it carries off its protection of the goods usually branded products are protected by a colorful package a safety package a protective package so that it will it will not be spoiled and the amount of money charged will not be to that useless its consumer protection consumer protection in the sense it is the package which doesn't which protects the product brand and there is also legal restrictions for imitating the brand they have to take the permissions of the manufacturers to imitate the brands it's wider market brands can be sold both in domestic market or in global markets it depends upon the branding awareness which they spread in the foreign countries so which helps in marketability of the product 
customer loyalty means branded products loyalty is higher than the commodity because commodity is driven by the need and brand is driven by the image what are the branding decisions the first and the foremost branding decision is branding sponsor decision who is going to sponsor the brand is the biggest issue why because the person who sponsors the brand must pay the entire amount of money invested in the form of advertising the product and it will he all he must also spend the financing amount for maintaining the brand until it earns its profits until at least at least it achieves the break even brand strategy decision good strategy to add up who will be the targeted audience who will be the ultimate good users of the product who will becoming the loyal customers and what are the strategies adopted for retention of the loyal customers brand repositioning dish initially when maruti omni was released it was uh, it was banned out of the country stating that uh, it was banned out of the delhi outskirts because the kidnaps have increased to 10 folds but later what happened is they have repositioned the maruti car by stating it it is not a van but it is a family car these are all the these are all the various aspects of brand that we remember in in our day to day lives for example we have taught regarding what do you mean by a brand what are the functions of the brand what are the benefits of the brand what are the types of brand and what are the decisions of the brand taken hope you like this video and subscribe the channel thank you